As you know, NVIDIA invented the GPU. This was before we invented AI factories. Our first great contribution to the computer industry was reinventing computer graphics through programmable shaders. We invented the GPU and programmable shading in 2000. We wanted to integrate GPUs into every computer. And so we started to combine our GPUs with motherboard chips. And we launched a fabulous integrated graphics chip at the time for AMD CPUs. Our chipset business was an instant success. I think it went from zero to a billion dollars practically overnight. But then all of a sudden, AMD wanted to control all of the technology in the PC. And we wanted to stay independent. So they purchased ATI and no longer needed us. We turned to Intel. That probably wasn't a great idea. But we turned to Intel <laughs> and negotiated a license to connect to Intel CPUs. Apple was excited by what we were building and asked us to work on a new computer with them, which became the first MacBook Air. Well, Intel saw what happened and decided they didn't want us to do that anymore. And so they terminated our agreement. Well, we pivoted again. And this time, we went and licensed ARM. And we built a low-power SOC, a mobile SOC, the world's first SOC that was essentially a computer, a full operating computer, and it was incredible. Our chip excited Google. And they asked us to work on a new device, which turned out to have been the Android mobile device. Well. Qualcomm decided they didn't want us to do that. And so they didn't want us to connect to their modems. And it's hard to build a, modem, a mobile device without being connected to a modem. And there were no other LTE modem companies. So we had to exit the mobile device market. Well, this happened practically on a year rhythm. And we would build something. It would be incredibly successful, generate enormous amounts of excitement. And then one year later, we were kicked out of those markets. Well, with no more markets to turn to, we decided to build something where we are sure there are no customers. <laughs> because one of the things you can definitely guarantee is where there are no customers, there are also no competitors. And nobody cares about you. And so we chose a market with no customers, a $0 billion market, and then it was robotics. We built the world's first robotics computer, processing an algorithm nobody understood at the time called deep learning. This is over 10 years ago now. 10 years later, I can't be happier with what we've built and the opportunity to create the next wave of AI. More importantly, we developed agility and a culture of resilience. One setback after another, we shook it off and skated to the next opportunity. Each time, we gained skills and strengthened our character. We strengthened our corporate character. Our company is really hard to distract and really hard to discourage. And no setback, no setback that comes our way doesn't look like an opportunity these days. Ironically, the robotics computer that we built today doesn't even need graphics, which is why our journey started in the first place. So where we are today tells us something and teaches us something. The world is uncertain, as Richard Feynman would say, and the world can be unfair and deal, with, deal you with tough cards. Swiftly, shake it off. <laughs>